بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہو ایور از واچنگ اینڈ ہو ایور وانس ٹو کم ٹو پاکستان آئی ریسنٹلی ٹریول اٹس بین اے ویک اینڈ ٹو بی آنسٹ ایز ہارربل ایوری بڈی واز سینگ اینڈ ایز بیڈ ایوری بڈی واز ٹیلنگ می اور ایز آئی ووڈ سے انسین آئی واز تھنکنگ دیٹ اٹ از اٹس ناٹ ٹرولی ڈیپلی اینڈ میڈلی ایوری تھنگ آئی فال ان لو ود مائی کنٹری of away almost 15 years not completely 15 years almost 15 years I've spent most of my youth in Britain in London in the heart of Britain or the capital of Europe worked worked hard worked three jobs daytime shift nighttime shift or I would say about 18 to 19 hours a day as well then life changed after the passage of some time starting to thinking about the future about my own future with the family and stuff the main reason why i had to leave united kingdom was the crime rate of the country and uh, other problems such as uh, cost of living cost of i mean the accommodation and stuff everything was way too expensive wherever whereas i was spending 2 grand a month in 2017 after that in about after lockdown when everything spiked up and especially when the brexit happened all the prices has gone up three times so the 2000 pounds average went up to almost 5000 pounds that was the that was one and second uh, kids and their education that was causing problems and th- these are these are some of the problems that if you are married and you have family you have kids small kids young kids especially or going to be teenagers they can they face them and only those parents can understand those parents the parents that came from you know uh, in from somewhere from asian regions either from india or pakistan because our cultural values are different our family system is different as compared to any british person or any white people that was one of the main reasons secondly when i've spoken with everyone in my family they were like why would you think to go back to pakistan it's not a good place it's it's been changed you won't be able to adjust it i'm like since i came here to be honest i've never felt that i have even left the country i didn't i did not literally feel any kind of any sort of different any any difference in anything except it's much more populated as i remembered and some more construction happened before while i was there i forgot i never came to pakistan since 2000 uh, 2009 and uh, after that the, the only thing that changed to be honest it's uh, it's it's a bit expensive it's a bit pricey i'm not going to lie but uh, but then that everything is available here everything is fine people are very educated and especially from the area the area i am from uh, education level is good as well yes people are poor there is a very poorly managed government but other than that there are nothing much difference the only thing is yes you do get mugged but you can mugged in london as well you can mugged anywhere any city of the europe you can mugged anywhere in the world it only depends how smart and how quick thinker you are if you're not a quick thinker you obviously going to get mugged somebody going to give you some some very cheap stuff for very rich for very expensive price if there are no price tags same thing happens that happens in pakistan as well usually when you go to the shops yes there are no prices but if you know what you buying you can do some homework you can do some research there are online stores i mean the people who don't live in pakistan who whose uh, second and third generations are in outside pakistan and they are like uh, pakistan never going to get better pakistan pakistan got so many problems it's just going to get dissolved very soon there are no good politicians 
we i i know all of them yes and they all are very corrupt there there are no doubts about it and there there is one so called politician so called celebrity uh, that we cannot take the name so i'm just not going to get there and i don't want to dive into the politics other than so far my experience so my my experience has been very wonderful and uh, yes uh, as you can imagine being a family man once you move or migrate from one country to another there are first few months they are the high on the pumps where you need to spend so much money on but other than that once everything come into circle then everything is fine yeah there are no money problems the the, the another the best thing is there is so much sun so much sun like there is a lot of vitamin d that you don't get in any other country except spain but spain spain is a country where you only go or people go just to drink and just to party you can't take you can't migrate your family to spain you know and uh, as since i came to pakistan uh, there is a plus point for me that i can give my kids some sort of uh, religious information they can they can read our holy book they can do some work on their religion they can pray five times and plus when the azan happens in the mosques we have a mosque nearby we can go there it's on it's on like minute or two walk away uh, minute or two it takes only minute or two to get there and uh, kids are exploring kids are loving it and uh, i in in past whole week i've been asking my kids if you, if if they want to go back to united kingdom back and if either they are missing their schools or uh, they want to do something or they want to they just want to go back to their old old life they said no it's okay if uh, dad if you want to go you can go and you just send us the money and they say we are very happy here so they are living their life they are chilling their lives and uh basically the reason to make this video is to spread some awareness the people who are scared to move in the only thing i'm going to say is if you don't have any sort of a job plan if you don't have any sort of a business then just stay where you are for time being but if you think your job is reliable enough and you can work from home that then i would say if you are pakistani you can come to pakistan i'm not sure about india or bangladesh or any other country uh, that is in asian region what is the state what was the status over there and uh, how overseas people can adjust but about the pakistan the the very short and the very doable thing i can tell you is pakistan is like a pakistan is like the best place to live and to party if you have funds sorted if you have a job sorted and you know your finance your numbers going to come from any other country and you have a very well settled job that you are doing work from home basis or if you need to go to office you can go once in a month or once in once in a quarterly uh, then that's the perfect thing if not then don't change your mind to come back to pakistan just yet yeah and secondly pakistan is not as horrible as they show as they mention in the news so literally i used to be very active on twitter and keeping eye on and start thinking like oh my god what is what is what's going on with my country it wasn't that horrible that as they say but literally i've i've been here and uh, i did literally felt like i i never left and alhamdulillah other than that everything else is going fine so i'm going to be coming up with the next episode of uh, some more information about the area about the housing about the accommodation if you want to either buy a property or uh, rent a property because these are the things that i am going to face and i am in the phase of uh, where i am looking for some things as well so inshallah i hope to see you guys very soon inshallah and uh, i'm going to be coming up with some more information so people who are and who can afford they can come here and literally pakistan is the best country at the moment to live and uh, regarding the crime rate crime rate i would say it's nil there are some pay places where you can get mugged but nobody ask you to hold iphone 14 or iphone 15 pro and start taking selfies and making tiktoks so yeah and one more thing at the last 
I want to tell you guys if you haven't subscribed this channel because this channel belonged to my brother now this channel belong to me both of us we're gonna be making videos so in the morning we're gonna be doing our daily vlogs and uh, if you haven't seen you can go into the history of the channel you can have a look on the videos and uh, in the evening late evening or early evening I'm gonna be making videos for the people who don't live in Pakistan and really want to come back to their country and they are struggling with some news with some problems and because of the family are giving them hustle or uh, any sort of problem they are thinking to ease their problems they can carry on watching my videos and inshallah I'm just hoping maybe I'll be maybe I'll be able to help you guys in some manner so yeah make sure you subscribe to the channel share the video and like the video and if you do have some kind of suggestion kindly leave in a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, peace for now.